Wow, this site has star rating on their results. That's cool. Hmm, this site has an accordion on their results. What did they do? How can I get that for my site? Okay, this company has a knowledge panel. I want to get that for my company. But how? Now, I'm a new competitor on the market and I want to know what schema markups my established competitors are using on their pages. But how should I get that information? Well, we have got an answer for you. Take all the guesswork out, use Rank Math Pro, and we'll show you how to know what schema markups other sites are using so you can craft their schema markups as your own. Let's go. Hey, this is Jack from Rank Math, and on this channel, you will learn all the proper SEO knowledge so that your website and business will get the best chance of beating your competitors on search engines. So subscribe to our channel with bells on to get updated SEO knowledge. Now, it doesn't matter if you are a beginner or an advanced SEO, what we're gonna show you will either help you get rich snippets without much knowledge, or it will ease the process of getting your pages schema ready for snippets. And the best way to know if your website will get rich snippets it's to spy on those results that already got rich snippets. It makes sense, right? Now, I can't go into specific websites or niches to explore all rich snippets, but if you own a website and you are researching on topics you want to rank for and you found your competitor's search result with some cool rich snippets on it, then you can use this method I'm about to share. Or maybe you are a new competitor on the market and instead of hiring an SEO expert to craft some custom schema markups for your website, using this method, you can be the SEO expert for your company. Now, before we get into that, make sure you have Rank Math Pro installed on your site and on the Rank Maths dashboard, make sure that you have selected the advanced mode and that you have toggled the schema structured data module on. Once you have done those things, let's go through the first example. Let's say that we are a new company that manufactures brand new electric SUVs. And the Jeep brand is basically one of our main competitors. Our company wants to know what schema markups Jeep is using on this page. So instead of hiring an SEO expert for a couple of thousands or visit the source code of the page to figure out the schema data, all you need to do is to copy the link of the page on one of your post articles, visit the Rank Maths tab, select Schema, click on Schema Generator, and under Import, select the URL option, and paste the page link. Now hit Import. And as you can see, we have two schema types found. To see the schema data on the site, click on Use, and let's make the schema type ours. We will not change the Add type, because this is one of the schema types from schema.org. Let's head back, for the URL, let's change this to our brand. Let's say that our brand's website is survey.com and the name of our SUV model is Glide. So the URL of the page we are working on is survey.com slash Glide. The manufacturer is survey. The model date is 2022. For the description, it will be something like this. Let's save for this post. And we have made our competitor schema structure as ours. Awesome, right? Let's do the other schema type. Click on schema generator, then import, paste the same page link, and let's check out the schema data for the car schema type. Cool, this is where you add all the specific details about the car. So I'll change all the details according to the make of our car brand. We have the same number of doors, same seating capacity, and this is the width of the car, this is the height, this is the depth, wheelbase, fuel capacity, fuel efficiency. If you don't understand any of these schema types, just go to schema.org and search for the schema, and it will tell you exactly what the schema is about. Back to our site, we are done with the car schema. Let's save for this post. And all that is left is the web design of the page that includes all the data you have entered in the schema types. Now, what if we have more than one car model and we want to place those schema structures we have created as schema templates for other car models we make? So to create a template, we want to remove the unnecessary such as the name of the car, vehicle configuration, production date, model date, etc. Because different cars will have different data. And on those empty fields, we want to add something like to be edited so that these fields will not be left out of the template. 
The standard data we can keep are probably the manufacturer, which is your brand. Or in this case, if you want to create a template specific for the SUVs, you will keep the body type data. As you save as template, the next time you create a page, you can use the template again by visiting your templates and you will find your template here. So to change the name of the template, amend or delete it, we have to go to the WordPress dashboard. Under Rank Math and Schema Templates, you will see the template you have just saved. Hover to it and click Edit. You can change the name of the schema template here. And as you save the template and go to the post or page you want to use the template, you will now see the renamed template. So just remember that any adjustments you want to make to the template can be done from the Schema Templates Manager right here. All right, cool. I hope you see the value of this import schema feature. If you have been creating custom schemas from scratch or you have been hiring people to create schema templates for you, my question is why? Why when you have a powerful tool that grabs your competitor's schema data and you can use it as your own if you like? Anyway, let's go through another scenario to solidify the idea before we talk about your competitor's FAQ accordion and a star rating rich snippet. As you search for Apple, you will see Apple's knowledge panel. Nike has this on its branded search term and Grab has this on the search term Grab. Now this knowledge graph is not awarded to every company or brand on the planet and it is not easy to get either. Google and other search engines will decide if your brand or company is worthy of a knowledge panel but there are some commonalities which if you implement them, you have a higher chance of getting knowledge panel rich snippets but let's find out what are the commonalities. If you use our import schema feature and you spy on Apple's site, you will see the organization, website and web page schema types. And if you check out what's on the organization schema, you will see all the basic information about Apple, the contact points. For Apple, it will be their sales hotline, their technical support hotline, the customer support hotline, and at the bottom, you will see the same as schema where they will list all the social profiles and mentions about Apple. Now let's check out Nike. As you can see, there are three similar schema types as well. If we visit the organization schema, similar to Apple, they will have the basic company information, the contact points, there are so many of them. And then there is the same as schema where they have the wiki data as well, together with the Wikipedia article on their brand and their social profiles. If we visit Grab, which is a Singaporean MNC company, we will see the organization schema as well. If we visit that, we will see the same as schema with the wiki data profile page together with the Wikipedia article that talks about the brand. Now, what about Jeep? That's one of our main competitors for our car brand survey. They have a cooperation schema type and as we check out the schema data, we can see the same as schema as well with a link to Wikipedia. So the commonality is to have the same as schema nested under the organization or corporate schema and have all your social profile links added to it. And the key element is to figure out how to add your company information in wikidata.org or Wikipedia. Now it's good to note that Google can automatically detect social media profiles to be included in the Google Knowledge Panels and does not require this same as structured data. RankMath used to have these social settings but we have removed them as well to keep up with Google. But there is no harm in adding these data in your schema markups. Again, there is no guarantee that you will get a knowledge panel but if you are a big corporation or a big brand, there is a high chance that you will get it. And if you are a local business, on top of using the import schema trick, you can set up your business using the Google Business Profile as well as set up your homepage using the local SEO and Knowledge Graph module from RankMath to get a local business knowledge panel, which we have covered in this in-depth video. The link is in the description as well. Anyway, similar to the previous example, we can use the corporate schema structure from Jeep to construct as our own. We just need to change the name, the URL, our social profiles. Currently, we do not have a Wikipedia profile link, so we can delete this, change the logo image to ours, and let's say that we do not have a parent organization, so we can delete this group, change the founder's name, the founding date, etc.
and save for this post if you are working on a homepage of your website. Now, if you work for a corporation or an agency and you are tasked to get the knowledge panel rich snippets or any rich snippet for that matter, don't you think this import schema too can help you out a lot instead of you figuring out how to create a custom schema from scratch? If you find this import schema too awesome, do us a little favor and smash that thumbs up button. We really appreciate that. Anyway, before you set the schema as final and you leave it as it is, do make sure that you test the schemas on your page before you hit publish. We have a very simple way for you to do that. On your schema tab, on the schema type, click on the eye icon and click test with Google. It will add all the codes to Google's rich results test. And that's where you know if your schema markups are valid with warnings or with errors. Usually, the warnings are related to missing fields, which can be ignored if you really do not have the data. But if it is an error, those are the required data and you have to include them before the schema is valid so that you will get the rich snippets you desire. Now, before I end, you may have questions like, Jack, what about the star rating? What about the top stories? What about the FAQ accordion? Those are popular rich snippets. Why aren't you covering those on this video? Let's talk about them now. If you see a search result having an FAQ accordion rich snippet, honestly, you don't have to use the import tool to get the FAQ schema structure. We have an FAQ block on your editor, and when you use it for your questions and answers, it will automatically add the FAQ schema markup for this section of your page. And we do have an in-depth video about getting FAQ snippets, which you can check it out right here. We have left the link in the description. Now, what about star rating? Let's take this search result as an example. If we do the import schema method, we will find a product schema where it will have the review rating schema that allowed the article to get a star rating rich snippet. But honestly, you don't need to follow the schema structure of other websites to get the star rating rich snippet. In fact, we have something easier for you. On our predefined schema types, the review rating schema is available on the book, course, event, movie, product, recipe, and the software schema. So depending on what you're reviewing, you may need to select the right schema type. Our predefined schemas are pretty straightforward, so it should be easy for you to get a star rating snippet. If you want a full tutorial on how to get a star rating rich snippet, you can check out this video right here. The link is in the description as well. For the top stories rich snippets, if your website is a magazine site, a news site, or a site that has high volume of content frequency every single day, you may want to check out this video as it requires a little more knowledge to get the top stories rich snippet. The link is in the description as well. Feel free to take your time to watch those videos to learn how to get those rich snippets. And again, it is worth noting that there is no guarantee of getting rich snippets even if you have done all the right schema markups. It really depends on the search engines, but the point of this video is to show you how our import schema feature allows you to use your competitor's schema structures as your own so that you are building your custom schema based on successful companies that have probably gained the rich snippets that you desire. Anyway, if you find this video helpful, do us a little favor and smash that thumbs up button. Our channel is all about sharing proper SEO knowledge so that your website and business can take advantage of search engines to gain more traffic, leads, and eventually customers. So subscribe to our channel with bells on if you haven't done so. This is Jack from RankMath. I'll see you in the next video.